Warren Buffett, the most successful investor in the world. Isa sa mga hinahangaan kong investor of all time. Every time na merong interview si Warren Buffett, talagang pinapanood ko and as much as possible, makadigest ako ng informations and knowledge sa kanya. Now, Warren Buffett uses special indicator and that indicator made by him and named after him. Today, we are going to discuss about the Buffett indicator. Okay, so what is the Buffett indicator? So, the Buffett indicator mini measures dito kung overvalue or undervalue ba ang market ngayon. Okay, so the Buffett indicator does not talk about a specific share. It talks about stock market as a whole. It talks about the entire index. Okay, so before we proceed sa a Buffett indicator, kailangan muna natin explain merong two types of analysis. The micro analysis and the macro analysis. Okay, so mga nag-uumpisa pa lamang sa pag invest at hindi alam kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng macro analysis and micro analysis. Okay, so for example, you study the world economy, ang tawag dyan, macro analysis. Now, if you study our economy or the Philippine economy, ang tawag dyan, micro analysis. Macro, at the larger scale, micro on a smaller scale. Now, this indicator shows you that the stock market is overvalue or undervalue on the macro business. Now, what is the formula of Buffett indicator? Buffett indicator is equals to market capitalization divide gross domestic product. Now, to explain this, when I talk about market capitalization, in this formula, okay, so what is market capitalization? No? So, market capitalization is current price of the, of the share to the number of equity shares available. So, if you multiply both of them, you can get current market capitalization of that company. But when I say market capitalization in the Warren Buffett or in the Buffett indicator, I don't mean market capitalization for specific shares or specific company. I mean the market capitalizations of the entire index. Ako so ngayon ang tanong, paano nga ba natin makukuha yung market capitalization ng entire index? Ako sa alam naman natin ang PSEI ay barometer natin sa ating economy. So you, sa PS, PSEI, mayroong 30 companies na napaloob dyan. So naan dyan yung Ala, Ayala, Uh, SM, Alibi, and many more na company. Now, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung 30 companies and then kukunin natin yung market capitalizations ng 30 na yan and then ipagpa-plus natin yung lahat para makuha natin yung entire uh, market capitalization ng ating index. Okay, now second, yung GDP naman. So, itong GDP, ano ba itong GDP? Sa mga nag-umpisa pa lamang, no? So, itong GDP, ito yung Gross Domestic Product. So, To explain it in a simple words, is a value of all goods and services produced in an economy. So why GDP is very important sa mga um, investors or analysts, no? Because if GDP or gross domestic product are increasing, the producers, the manufacturers have increased producing their services and increased producing their goods and services. If the GDP is increasing, It means they are producing more because of people are buying more. If people are buying more, then companies will produce more and sell more. They will have more profit and they will increase their production. And if they increase their production, they will increase giving jobs. The job increase, people have, have more money, they will spend more. And the companies will earn, earn more profit and the entire economic cycle will go on. So that is why GDP is considered one of the most important tools to analyze an economy, judge an economy. So coming back to the formula, market capitalization of the entire index upon the gross domestic product 
When you do this, uh, you find out the Buffett indicator. And if the Buffett indicator is above 100, it is considered overvalued. And you should not invest in stock market. And in the other side, if the Buffett indicator is less than 100, it is considered undervalued. That's the time we invest massively to the market. Okay, so kaya na kung nakikita nyo yung portfolio ni Warren Buffett, sobrang laki ng cash available meron si Warren Buffett, no? Kita niya na overvalue ang stock market. One thing na ginagamit niya para makita kung overvalue or undervalue ba ang merkado ngayon. So meron din akong Buffett indicator na ginawa di para dito sa ating merkado. Ngayon kung titignan natin dito sa ginawa kong Buffett indicator, clearly nakikita natin dito yung aking Buffett indicator ay nasa 178.90%. So meaning ang uh, Philippine stock market or ang ating PSEI ay overvalue ngayon. Remember, uh, above 100% it is considered overvalued and uh, below 100%, it is considered undervalue. Okay, so this indicator, malaking tulong ito sa mga fundamental fundamental analysis yung ginagamit para mag-invest sa ating merkado. No? And through this, uh, malalaman mo kung overvalue and undervalue ba ang Philippine market ngayon. Okay guys, so sana may natutunan kayo sa ating channel. And guys, guys, and guys kung gusto nyo isa-isahin natin kung paano ito kinu-compute yung Buffett indicator, comment nyo lang sa baba at gagawa natin to ng part 2. Okay guys, so maraming maraming salamat guys sa support nyo sa ating channel. And this is Percy Warrior na nagpapaalalang invest wisely and see you on the other side. Hello guys, maraming salamat sa panonood. Sana marami kayo natutunan sa video na to. So kung hindi pa kayo nakaka-subscribe, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga videos na parating at marami pa kayo matutunan sa channel na ito. Maraming salamat!